Today I really wanted to cover the brand new Dragon Ball fan animation of Super Saiyan 10. I really did, but then this happened. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer on that animation video because today we are talking in one of the hottest new shows out there and why Goku is trending right now. Now if you're not seen Invincible, it is a brand new animated series on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, I highly push you to go watch that series. Don't look at the picture of the almost DC animated style of animation like you don't 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 look at that and just judge the show because a lot of people are doing that that's the reason that it took so long to start trending because people judged a book by its cover of course they are hyped up to go see Demon Slayer in the movie theaters which they should be but when it comes to shows like this, they see it, they get a vibe from it, they see that it's Western animation, and Western animation sort of has this stigma of not being as cool as Eastern animation. So go ahead and check it out, guys, because right now I'm going to be talking some mild spoilers of the series, and if you've already seen the series and would like to hear me actually review it completely, I'm gonna leave a link to my review of it in the description below in the top comment. Go ahead and check it out. It is on on my second channel Sunscape go ahead and check out that review because I have a lot of things to say don't be put off by the title of the video because it is all explained in that package in due time so many weeks after Invincible dropped its first episode and it's finally concluded in its finale we basically heard radio silence from all of Twitter from YouTube nobody really was talking about Invincible and that is because a small select few of people jumped on board on that first episode and they were building the hype as the weeks were going on until that finale where everybody seems to have seen it they were sharing memes of it they've been sharing clips of it people are getting super excited and into it then people are watching the series like weeks almost a month after it's already aired and now invincible is trending as it should be the fact that its finale had so much hype and so much intensity so much rawness so much emotion behind it and that led to its trending shows the power of the show and how much it was built up from the very first episode to the last episode it is a masterclass in western animation storytelling and it dives deep in a lot of anime type of plots and subtext that is really cool to see as a anime fan but one of the best things about this whole scenario is of course the memes we've got Tons of them, tons of memes, but all of them seem to revolve around specifically this one part where the anti-hero slash superhero Omni-Man is trying to explain to his son how humanity is a lost cause and you're fighting for them when they are insects, they are grains of sand, and you are a deity. Why do you care about them? You gotta think about these things, Mark. That's essentially what this scene is. Don't want to dive too much into it because, again, I was hoping for light spoilers on this. So everyone has given their own take on this popular meme, even mixing it in with Dragon Ball showing Vegeta over trunks explaining why he let Cell go into his perfect form. The memes are hilarious with various members of the Dragon Ball community talking about exactly what Invincible is and maybe having a leg up on the actual comic book knowing what the future of it has in store for us because they already sanctioned it for season 2 and season 3. So I gave my own take on this think mark think meme and it was essentially this. You think Superman can beat Goku? Think, Mark, think. And this tweet as of right now is trending. It actually is one of my most popular tweets in quite a while. And it has basically made a spin-off of tweets. People asking who would win in a fight. And so we are gearing up sword and shield in hand into another fandom fight between the Invincible fans and the Dragon Ball fans, even the DC fans in there. Who would win in a fight? Could Omni-Man defeat Goku? That is what everybody wants to know. That is what everybody is talking about right now. And in my meme, I think I explain it the best. Do you think that Superman can beat Goku? 
Well, once upon a time, a lot of people did. This was an actual war in the fandom, and a lot of you guys who were around around that time, you guys know that it was a toxic place to be in both fandoms, the DC and the Dragon Ball fandom, because Goku vs Superman was a tremendous event, Push so by death battle you guys know infamously that death battle was the one the arbiter that pushed this fight into the zeitgeist of the fandom wars when we get to their conclusion their conclusion was Superman can use his eye beam to go into Goku's eye in like a needle type position and cut his brain into pieces, essentially making him a vegetable or, you know, basically killing him from the inside out. Something that Goku really doesn't have a counter to, at least not at the time. And really, right now, if you think of that specific ability, I mean, he may not have a specific counter to it, but uh, these are in the same days, and unlike Soups, unlike the Man of Steel, Goku has been busy, busy, busy training. He has been busy training, as a lot of my fans know, and the majority of the community knows, the Dragon Ball community, Goku at this point now is closing in on the beginnings of Angel Level, which is a multi-universe, multi-dimensional type of power scale. He is up there in a, the same wavelength as Beerus, I believe at this point in time, if Goku faced off against Beerus with the power that he has right now with Ultra Instinct or the more perfected version of Ultra Instinct, he could defeat Beerus rather easily. And he is continuously training right now with Whis to become even more and more powerful. So how powerful is Goku? Well, right now he's learning to be Ultra Instinct in his base form. And when he does go into the mastered Ultra Instinct state or just the full cowling version of Ultra Instinct, he can essentially make kaijus of himself. He can do a arraignment of different things that uh, really put him on a different level here. He, in my opinion, could easily at this point defeat Superman. Maybe not easily, but he could easily get around a lot of the things that Superman has to combat him with. And he could also, just by using Ultra Instinct, evade most of Superman's attacks. It really isn't fair, honestly, to even put these two characters in the same bracket right now. That is what you guys have to think of when it comes to Omni-Man. Omni-Man, his savagery, the fact that he doesn't care about anything or anybody because he is basically a being that lives for thousands of years and he is essentially a saiyan like his species the viltrumites they're essentially saiyans they go to different planets and conquer them that's what they do it's like a mixture of superman and his kryptonians and the saiyans that's essentially what his character's species is but he doesn't have laser powers, he doesn't have frost breath, he doesn't have key attacks, and so he is at a disadvantage in a lot of capabilities when it comes to not only fighting Superman, let alone Goku. And honestly, just for this video guys, because I love you guys so much, I did something that I rarely do when I love a series so much, and that is I look into the future of it and I look at spoilers for it. And honestly, I'm thinking of buying the Invincible comic books because uh, I can't wait for season two. That's how hyped up I am on it. But essentially, without being too specific, the Omni-Man's abilities can go as far or as strong as the strongest Viltrumites. Like, they are in the same ballpark where he can last quite a bit against him but still not overcome him, and with the help of other Viltrumites, including his son Invincible, he can destroy planets. So he needs the help to easily destroy a planet, essentially. So if he tried on his own, he probably could destroy a planet if he really wanted to. It might be a little bit tougher, but uh, hey, there you go. Well, we have other characters in Dragon Ball who can easily destroy planets with Key Blast. So that is the difference between these two characters. So there's really no sense in having a future death battle with Omni-Man versus Goku. I think if you had a death battle between Omni-Man against somebody 
from any universe, it would probably be Homelander, the other evil Superman variant, because he is around the same wavelength. It would even be cool to see, like, Omni-Man versus Master Roshi. I think that would be more of a fair fight in my opinion and that's just me spitballing here i don't know i, I think that omni man is extremely powerful but i think that when it comes to planet busting and all that stuff i mean he he's around that wavelength and he honestly could be planetary multi-planetary level type of being but the characters in dragon ball are far beyond that a lot of them are specifically goku anyway guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think of invincible have you guys watched it what are your thoughts on it let me know in the comment section below and if you made it to this point in the video you are now part of the hashtag end of video squad thank you guys so much for all your support make sure to drop that comment with that hashtag for a chance to be featured in my next video today i'm going to be responding to linda seal weiss clapping his hands and laughing like a little kid whose dad just won the top prize at the shooting gallery at a carnival too cute. I think that Whis really is enjoying seeing mortals become gods for some reason. Like, or I don't know. Like, I think he just enjoys the whole process of it, the training pro. He is a master, so you know he's a teacher also. So I think he, it is, it makes sense for him to be that excited over his pupils gaining so much power and becoming so much stronger. And honestly, I agree with you. I think that moment was very cute. Thank you so much for your comment, Linda. This is going to be Black Scape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.